Hello and welcome to lesson one of How to Play the Lyre. Um, there are about six different chords you can learn since there are six different notes. Um, but I find the easiest way to learn is by using the two connected chords. So the chords that are the same, only one, um, one string down. So, for example, we have G and we have A minor. And all you have to do to move from one to the other is shift all of your fingers up or down one string. And you can practice that just sort of strumming pattern or just a very simple quarter note pattern. break it down really simply for the G chord you want to cover or touch the second the fourth and the sixth string you count from the closest one towards you and when you have tuned it you will have G A B C D E and you will damp dampen the A C and E chord for your G major chord, I mean strings, and to make your A minor, you will dampen the G, B, and D. So we have G and A. Practice it back and forth until you have them really well. Once you can do it, one, two, three, Speed it up a little bit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you know different um, strumming patterns because you play the guitar, then those are great to practice with. And if you don't, no worries. We will get into that as well. And you can just start with a very basic one, two, three, four, and then one. You can use a pick. I like to use a really, really light pick. Um, one of the thinnest ones I can find. I find they work best. So that's your quarter notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... And if you don't have a pick, I use just my fingernails, which are really short, so it, it's not like I have long nails to work with. Um, and I use this one on the way down, and then my thumb on the way back. So I hold them together, almost like I'm holding a pick. And that's how you do it. So, again, we have G and A minor. G major, A minor. Go practice, and I'll see you next time.